What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's gig log, we're going out to another homecoming school dance. You guys seem to love these videos. Only problem is I got this brand new camera right here um, and I messed up the settings in this gig log and lost a lot of footage. Basically, I have the footage, just there's no audio. So we cut out all of that footage, unfortunately, and we kept what we could. And now I'm here having to narrate some of this stuff. But for the most part, I'm gonna show you guys the setup. We're gonna show you guys a new tool right here. This is gonna be the next clip. We're gonna show you guys the new tool I got from Colorado Sound and Light that helps me determine if two outlets are on the same circuit or not. And I think this is a very, crucial tool for any mobile DJ to have in their arsenal. So I'm gonna link that down below. Um, the whole playlist that's gonna be in this homecoming will also be linked down below. So if you guys wanna get the set list, it's free to download. It'll be down below of all the tracks I played, when I played them, when I mixed in and out. It's in an Excel CSV file. And all of my music for the most part is from Direct Music Service, which I have a link for you guys to sign up if you want a discount as well. All that's included, so link down below. And of course, this uh, the title of this video, this is the first Hoko with the Pix Bars, the brand new Pix Bars with a full review dropping in the next couple days. So this is like a little preview to the full review coming soon. Check it out and enjoy the video and I'll catch you guys at the end. Okay, so we're setting up at this homecoming we are trying to figure out our logistics on basically circuits. My good friends at Colorado Sound and Light make this cool tool right here. It's basically a circuit tester. So it'll let me know if two outlets are on the same circuit or different circuits. So the way it works is basically there's an IEC here. You can plug in over here and over here. We're gonna use an extension cord to go longer. But basically you plug this end into one outlet, plug this end into another outlet, and then this light right here, if the light doesn't turn on, we're on the same circuit. If the light turns on, we're green, good to go. These are two different circuits. So we have a circuit over here that the PA for the gym is on and they're running a hot coffee machine on it. We don't wanna be on that circuit. That's gonna be pulling a lot of power. So we're gonna plug into this outlet to see this outlet over here is on the same circuit or a different circuit. And of course, I tangled the cable. All right, let's see. We're looking for a green light. We do not have a green light. These are the same circuits. So we cannot use that outlet. So we're gonna go search for some more power to use. So we checked out that side. The only thing is in the gym and those are on the same circuit, so we're not using that. So we went the other way. We're gonna have to do some taping. This is very common if you guys are doing school dances inside of schools. Trying to find power and having enough circuits can be super easy or super hard, depending on when the school is built. So we came this way. There's a closet in here and there's a classroom here. That one and this one are on a different circuit. The color outside light, it lights up green when we're on a different circuit, so we're good to go there. Also a secondary thing, I'm gonna have them come in here. Hand me the camera real quick. When you guys are in venues, if you see this little dash right here, that means that this is a 20 amp circuit, not a 15. This is uh, basically, it has to by code, if it has that little dash on the side, it has to be a 20 amp circuit. Now, it could not have this and still be a 20 amp circuit, but you don't know. But if you see that dash, it's 100% a 20 amp circuit, which means you have five more amps of power to work with. And we'll talk more about power here in a little bit when I get to measuring some of this stuff because we got the new LD ICOA 18s and I'm curious how much power those draw at full tilt. All good to go. We're gonna now run our 100 foot extension cords, 10 gauge to make sure we get all of our power over to our setup over here. It's gonna be coming. We're gonna tape across the bathroom entryway over to our setup. Here's your little status update. We got the brand new Pix bars all set up on gravity stands and attached to the speaker stands. We might move that, turn that in a little bit, but also it looks better from behind. We got our movers, black totems. The guys are putting together our 360 tubes. We gotta get the DMX figured out. We ran some long XLRs to get our Maui 44s down there for some backfill in this long room. Ico is looking good, looking good. What's up guys, we're here at the event. We're using the Pix Bars right now. I wanted to give you guys a quick little rundown of the Pix Bars so you guys can see what exactly they are. They look like a competitor's light that you might know about. It has a Maz at the end or something like that, like Hey Maz or something. But these are actually battery powered and have wireless DMX built into them. So let's look at the Pix Bars themselves live at the event. The blinders on them are incredibly bright on. So what you got here is you got RGB on the sides. So you got RGB basically running up and down for the wash effect. You have a warm white blinder in the middle and then you got some white strobes right there as well, LED strobes on them. On the back side here, they do have two clamp mounts on either side. Uh, we have an O-clamp up there attached to a gravity stand for this setup on this side. And uh, basically right there on the side, you got wireless DMX, you got your battery indicator and you have your on and off switch right there. Full DMX controllability. I'm running them right now on sound switch and they're all set and ready to go. Over here we got two 
two on the speaker stands. So we got them right here clamped to the bottom of the speaker stands. Adds a really neat, cool effect to your speakers. So we got four in use tonight. Really cool effect. And we got the tubes mixed in as well. We'll be running some atmospheric haze tonight. It's going to make these really pop. Those blinder effects are really going to come through nice and strong. And I'm excited. So again, this is the first time using the actual PIX bars tonight. The battery life on these things is absolutely astonishing. Like these have some crazy battery life. We've been able to do upwards of like 15 hours straight and not die. So plenty of battery life to run through on these things. We're excited to have them tonight. So behind me, the setup is fully complete. Let's take a complete tour and we're going to separate this tour out into sound and into lighting because we do have a lot of stuff to show tonight. Let's first start on the sound portion. So sound of course comes from my setup right here. We have two Rain 12s, Pioneer S9 all set up ready to go. We're running Serato DJ Pro right there all set ready to go. All this feeds to our back rack system back here where we have a Yamaha MG12 mixer to feed all of our audio outputs. We have our Firma power conditioner in here. We have DBX drive rack PA2 right there. Two Audio-Technica wireless microphones. We're only going to be using one of those tonight. And down there, this is the full built-out rack, ready to go. Pull the mixer out if we need to make any adjustments. You guys have seen it before. We're running all three zones on the drive rack today. Our subs tonight, LD Systems, Icoa 18s. Two of them set up right there, front and center, right in front of the booth, nice sound. Icoa 15s up top on top of Rockville hydraulic stands. Lights are nice and bright. This room, if you can tell, is incredibly long. So to tackle that, we need to get creative. We were here last year and all we did was basically that sound right there, but once we got about midway, we completely lost the back end of the sound because the room is incredibly long. It's like 100, 120, 130 feet long. We have two fill speakers. These are the LD Systems Maui 44 G2s. So one of them is about 50% of the way down the room. That covers the back half here. Nice wide coverage there. Additional base. We are running time delays out of the drive rack to this location and to this location right here. And of course, this back location here will fill the back half of the room. And I'll try and play some music here to show you guys what it sounds like. But basically, all the way down through, we have even coverage. Look at those blinders. Those blinder effects are bright from back here. Look at that, wow. So now we're gonna go through the lighting portion of this evening and I should go ahead and turn on our hazer so we can start building up that atmosphere. So pretty wow package tonight, but I will say it is a very easy and condensed package to set up. So let's start with our totems. We have Global Trust totems we scrimmed about in black today to really help draw attention to our bars and our tubes that we're using. We're rocking the MH150 spots on top, ADJ hazer down here to add some atmosphere for that. And we have four of the both lighting 360 tubes on top of both lighting USA white stands. And we have four of our brand new pick bars. These things are incredibly bright. I'm probably going to run a dimmer, but they have RGB. They have warm white strobes, white strobes, really epic setup. So four tubes, two behind, one on each side, four bars, very big wow package. All this is running on sound switch, sound switch control one. And then I got a new wireless DMX transmitter tonight. This is from both lighting USA, basically this is the both lighting one. It is a bigger antenna module and it's supposed to have way more power to prevent dropouts and to help push your DMX signal to the back of the room. I'm gonna be testing this out for the next month, basically here in October to see if this improves our DMX coverage. Tonight, tonight we're not really running any uplights. Those are actually, the kids set those up. Those are some cheap kind of like $30 pars. They're probably cheaper than that now but they're just kind of around the room and they did this cool ceiling as well. It did light up their sign. Well, if I select my program, this is my static scene. Put a couple movers up on the actual light. So this is kind of the static scene. Bars are shut off, tubes are up, and then we lit up their sign that basically says light the night up, 2023 Hoko. Yeah, ready to rock and roll. Got the GoPro ready to go. Oh, and I forgot the guys are back here getting all the LED foam sticks ready to toss out later tonight for the rave hour. We have this whole little back section, which is cool. They got like drinks and stuff for us in there for all the chaperones and us. Pretty dope setup. So the camera's gonna be turned over to the guys to basically film the rest of the night and it's gonna be exciting. My name is DJ McLeod, I'm gonna be the DJ tonight. Can everyone like come closer? You guys are so far away, I can't, I can't feel the energy. Everybody get a little up in here. We're gonna crank it up. We got an hour and a half to party it up tonight. It's gonna be fun. Actually, no, two and a half hours. Sorry, sorry. I don't know. We're gonna have a time with this. Who's ready to turn up? Let's party it up. Let's go.
so much for coming out, partying it all night long. Thank you guys. Be safe getting home. First off, if you guys are at the end of the video at this point, I need you guys to put hashtag squad in the comments down below because that was a lot of dancing footage and a lot of ups and downs. As you guys can tell from having a rear shot, it's a completely different perspective, especially for me watching it. Up front, I pretty much had people dancing the whole time. From the back there, I can actually see what tracks really worked a lot better than others. Um, and if I were to be doing another school dance, which I will be um, come in March, I'm gonna go back and look at that footage to see from the rear perspective, what songs really were getting people dancing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, school dances are a one of these nowadays. They listen to so much variety of music and like a lot of the new music doesn't hit. They listen to a lot of the older music, knowing what music is hard. So give it my best shot. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like the video down below or leave a comment down below to what you think. If you guys wanna check out the Pix Bars, wanna check out any of that, it'll be all linked in the description down below. I'll see you guys next video with a full review of the Pix Bars. Keep the record spinning. Peace.